Welcome to the vlog. I have a potato chip. Wait, no. <laughs> Fry in my mouth. I'm so tired. Step one, road trip trans essential. I can't even speak, I'm so tired. Okay, we came on a 6 a.m. flight from Auckland um, to Christchurch. We have just picked up... <laughs> Could you make any more noise? <laughs> Into the window I was up in one second. <laughs> oh, we're both really tired, but we have the van. And we've gone grocery shopping. We've been to Macca's. So many milestones. We are now leaving Christchurch and tonight we are taking our little juicy rental and we are driving to Arthur. What was that noise? <laughs> was that you hitting the curb or something? No. It wasn't in the car? No, it was in the car. It was in the car, oh gosh. <laughs> As I've been trying to say, we're spending the night in Arthur's Pass. We're trying to hustle and get there as quickly as we can just because it's meant to snow. Um, and sometimes if it snows really heavily, they close out this pass and then that's our one route to get over to the west coast for this road trip. So, this is our long scrambling intro. This is Ellie. This is Ellie's first vlog. Very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for this road trip. Conditions are worsening by the moment. <laughs> Like lime green juicy. Also, Ellie just nailed me in the face with the snowball. Don't <laughs> stay away from me. Sick. Oh my god. We're here. We made it to our campsite. Look at the snow. You can hear the rain on the roof of the car. What? <laughs> Ellie threw another snowball at the car. <laughs> Setting up camp, I suppose. We've like piled all of my gear up here because I had my skis with me. Um, and then we've started making the little bed to test it out. We're probably gonna have to like put it all back when we have dinner. Um, but yeah, this is a cozy setup. And then I think we're gonna have chicken carbonara pasta for dinner. And it's a lovely, lovely evening. wet and cold. We've had a little bit of a drama since our nice relaxing walk through the woods. We were kind of just sussing things out in the kitchen and we were like oh we should just um, test like see how the stove works and I think Ellie was gonna make himself like a pot of noodles or something. Um, so we're like pouring around with the stove and we're like it's not turning on 
at all. And we're trying everything and we looked all through the cupboard stuff. There was like a gas bottle or something connected to. Um, and then we like drove down the road to get reception so we could watch this video like showing like a tour of the van to understand how it worked because we didn't get an actual tour from an actual person because of the COVID restrictions. It's an absolute mess back here as well. <laughs> I guess we've just been like throwing stuff around trying to fight, figure out how this stove works. Um, and then it didn't show the stove in the video and then Ali tried to call Juicy and nobody picked up. We've been really unimpressed with the customer service so far on this trip. Wasn't going great and then Ali had this great idea. There's like a little fire pit at this campsite and he was like, oh there's a hotel 10 minutes down the road, let's go try our luck and see if they'll sell us some firewood. And what do you know, lovely Kiwi hospitality, they sold us some firewood, some kindling, and a fire starter, and a lighter. So, we've reversed into the fire pit. Let me get out and show you the setup, it's genius. So here's our van, look at that snow coming in. And this is like, like, like this is the whole, whole like little campsite, and we've just wedged ourselves in here. And now, this is Ali's time to shine. It's um, start a fire. <laughs> Jesus, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. I've just been packing more of our groceries into these little <laughs> wall buckets. Um, about to pour a glass of wine to help keep us warm. Currently, it's a, it's a little bit of a mess in here, but I believe it's organized chaos. It's an organization to this. The Boy Scout training finally coming through, eh? this too well but we've got a roaring fireplace this dark shape over here is Ellie <laughs> and over here we have some chicken sandwiches because originally we were gonna have pasta but of course our stove isn't working so we're having tomorrow's lunch oh there we go thank you oh look so aesthetic some chicken sandwiches and a roaring fireplace guys it's a Christmas miracle as you can see here, we have a kettle <laughs> boiling and the gas is working. We have really bad reception um, where we are, but like 10 minutes ago, I just got a text through from my dad and he was like, gas bottle is on the outside of your van in the lockable door. And sure enough, we went and checked and there it was. Um, and then I managed to walk out onto the road and load my Instagram and dad had been sending me screenshots of a YouTube video he'd looked up and watched about where to find gas bottle. Which was a lot more useful than the video that Juicy provided with us. But I'm so excited because now, perfect timing, we can boil the kettle for a hot chocolate and some water bottles to sleep. Um, I've set up our bed. <laughs> This is the bed situation. I need to move my coat out of the way and the pillows are there. I've got a lovely juicy purple um, sheet here. And then we have a feather sleeping bag, which I brought with me in my suitcase from Auckland. Um, and then we have one duvet and then a second duvet. We've got two layers here. And then we have this amazing fuzzy blanket that we bought from the warehouse um, in Christchurch after we landed. Some gloves there, pajamas ready to go here. All ready to go once we have our hot chocolate. Oh my god, this is warming up my hands. Day two in the van. We have woken up to sunny blue skies. And we've transformed our bed into a breakfast table. Ellie has made us some oats. The bed is very uncomfortable, very hard. But it's okay because we get to wake up next to this. So we've just packed down the camper, like put away the tables, all the cutlery, kind of washed everything up. Um, got the car running to try and warm it up because it's so cold. So right now we're kind of smack bang in the middle of Arthur's Pass and today we are driving through to Hokitika on the west coast. We're going to do the gorge there which is quite popular and then we're driving down the coast to French Joseph which is where we're going to be staying for two nights. So it's an absolutely beautiful day so I'm really excited to see to see everything. We 
we have just stopped in the little township of Arthur's Pass um, just so Ellie can grab a coffee and I've just topped up with my big camera to take some photos because there's so many cute little like houses all covered in snow in the mountains um, so if you're not already go head over to my Instagram at Ellen McKenzie to follow me and see some of my photos I left Ellie alone for five minutes and he walked past but I'm not mad about it. <laughs> We've just pulled over um, to this random little spot. There's our little juicy bit to eat our pies and take some photos. I'm editing my video. Ellie's waiting on his lunch. <laughs> famous swing bridge the, the water's pretty blue I didn't think it would be too blue because it's like rained and snowed recently welcome to home for the night we have settled in to our new campsite I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of the van now that we're parked up at French Joseph for the night and Ali is in the shower. It's a little bit of a mess, but let's just keep it real. <laughs> so this is a second bed, uh, but obviously we're using it for storage. It does like slide out and it kind of sits above the driver's seat there. Um, so we've got all the bedding up there. These are all my like packing cells of clothes. I've got like my skis back there. This is like a washing bag I have repurposed. <laughs> Below that we have the couch slash bed so at the moment it is in couch mode so we can sit on it um, there's my backpack just resting there and then as you will have seen last night we had it pulled out and this bit bottom bit slides out and that bit drops down and it makes a bed and that little square thing goes into the middle of here so you've got also this extra space at the seats currently we're just using the seats to store another blanket some jumpers and Ali's backpack and we are charging up the drone here let's see how much oh yeah oh yeah it's getting it's getting up there over on this side is our little kitchen and everything is like stored in these little cupboards on the wall so there's like all of our cutlery and crockery and then they've got some empty ones where we've put our own groceries over here we have our bottle of wine for this evening <laughs> and then this is our little stove top um, down here is like a couple of shelves for storage there's actually a toaster in there which is crazy um, then we have our tiny little fridge which I wasn't too impressed with at first because it smells but I mean it's better than no fridge there's a pretty pretty decent amount of space in there over this side we have our tap, so we actually have a tank of water in this um, camper van and also a waste bucket for the water down the sink to go to. Um, we've also got more cupboard space underneath here which has the pots and pans. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the van. This is where we've been living. On the menu tonight we are making pasta. It's boiling right there. We picked up this carbonara sauce. And then over here we've got some chopped up roast chicken and some broccoli. All ready to go. Dinner is served. Good morning. It is now Thursday morning. Blue skies again today. Um, we are going on a very exciting helicopter glacier tour and hike this morning. Um, and we've just arrived um, at Fox Glacier and we're the only two people going on this tour. So we're basically getting a private tour, which is crazy cool. Very, very excited. We just had our safety briefing. Um, we need to get some crampons, I think.
enjoying awesome. yourself? I was say it's a fantastic time to appear. <laughs> Into the crevice. <laughs> <laughs> Show us how it's done, boy. <laughs> My gosh. Way down here is where we landed in the helicopter and we've kind of zigzagged up the hill. Just climbed through this cave down here. Just finished up our hike. Oh yeah. Collecting some fresh glassy water for our water bottle. <laughs> Sounds like some like infomercial for Yeti. Tastes like chicken. Uh, tastes like chicken. <laughs> How epic was that? It was incredible. It was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. Also, can you get me in the camera? <laughs> Do not. <laughs> can you just grow a little bit? Is this the, is this the angle? That's you the want? angle. Yeah. <laughs> stick with that one. Oh, my arm's getting tired. It's actually really exhausting walking along the ice and the crampons. But so insane, like just having this whole peaceful glacier to ourselves. Like, look at the view behind me. Look at that. Look at that. This is my favorite part of being in the van. We can just pull over, there's the road, and here we are, sitting up for lunch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a graceful entrance into the vlog. That's definitely staying in there. Makes the final cut. We are having leftover pasta for lunch, and we just added some sauce to it, and we're gonna enjoy the view. It is now late afternoon. We headed back from Fox Glacier, back to Fresh Joseph. Did some grocery shopping. I also edited some of our photos from today, which look really awesome. So if you're not already, go follow me on Instagram. All the photos are going up there. Um, and now we're coming to look at Franz Josef Glacier. So there's two glaciers on the west coast. Um, and we, yeah, we just thought we might as well come see it, seeing as we're here. We really wanted to go to the hot pools here, like the geothermal pools. But they're closed because of COVID, which is a bit sad. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> Oh, it, it, it is a lot shorter than the other one. Yeah. We, can, we can just see it peeping through up there. You can't even see it on camera. It's that big white blur at the top there. So there is French Joseph Glacier. We can zoom all the way in on it because we're quite far away. There's a viewing platform. Can we zoom out again? Here we are. And we just read this sign that said 1908. This is where the glacier used to end. Now it ends all the way up there, which is very sad. Good morning from Franz Joseph again. So this morning we had a bit of a sleep in, had breakfast, um, had a shower, making the most of the shower facilities here. Actually, if you are doing this road trip or you're coming through Franz Joseph, we are staying something like the Orange Sheep Holiday Park. If you put in Orange Franz Joseph, camper van park um, it will come up and we would highly recommend it it's got really good facilities um, and it's just a really nice area lovely little spot to be doing my morning skincare <laughs> my ultimate beauty secret for the camper van life is dry shampoo except I can't put it on in the van because I just like gas all of us <laughs> We are back on the road again this morning. If you can hear a rumbling behind me, 
that's actually the beach because we've made it back to the coast again. We are currently on a route to Haast Pass. There's a few little towns along the way, a few little waterfalls. And yeah, today's just gonna be a very cruisy, chill day. We're, we're currently pulled over so Ali can make some noodles as a little snack. And I think I might put the, put the drone up. Should we put the drone up? I said no like five minutes ago and now I'm like, let's put the drone up. <laughs> over for lunch here we are in the car park one great thing to come from covid are these giant tourist spots with no people so let's go eat this over here Made it to our next campsite but as you can see it's a, it's a bit rainy out there so we're tucked up in our van I have just prepared us some cheese and cracker about to pull the wine Ellie's getting some cars ready we also have towels hanging everywhere <laughs> trying to uh, dry them all they're just everywhere Ellie has just made me a beautiful gourmet dinner in the van look at him go so that is the end of part one of the camper van vlog series. Part two will be coming very soon and stay tuned, make sure you subscribe because there's so many more awesome things that we got up to. We went to Mount Cook, Lake Pukaki, Lake Wanaka, a lot of lakes, but it was absolutely beautiful. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.